This goes on my calendar every year. I love shooting this event. It's an adrenaline rush. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a huge one to shoot for MTV, the biggest music event that we do. I absolutely love EMAs. It's been with Getty for many years. They're an extension of our team and we're an extension of their team. I actually did the first VMA in America in the early 80s with Hall and & Oates and I've done every single one since. It's the first one I came to, I came with Madonna in 1998. We have the best entertainment photographers coming to this event from across the world, so they get amazing creativity. We always sit down and think, what can we do this year that we haven't done before? How can we increase our production? We do pre-arrivals where I actually will light it, and we'll have branded backdrop and an unbranded backdrop, and you've got to work incredibly quick to get maximise the situation. I have to document everything on the red carpet, backstage, the show. Anything that's in front of me, I shoot. The guys managed to secure a position for me, access all areas past, so really behind the scenes and, you know, something a bit more intimate. We're at the very top of the red carpet, so we're getting fantastic access. Time is the major challenge because once you're on site, it just disappears. The biggest fear I think any reporter has at this kind of event with so many famous names going past is to miss somebody. You're constantly trying to meet her for a very, very rapidly changing environment. It's just a big adventure really. You can just hope that you get those quintessential MTV moments. We're talking about thousands of pictures. Uh, just from the red carpet alone, there could be thousands. We could be looking at 50, 60,000 pictures all together. It's like all the events that Getty cover, you know, more photographers, more editors, more film, video crew. So it's, yeah, every year is bigger and better than the, than, the, than the previous year. It takes weeks to set it up, months to prepare it and plan for it. You're there to record it. And then an hour later, that stadium's empty. And you just think, oh my God, all that effort. And it's now gone and it only exists in the back of the camera. Being a house photographer, we've got a huge, huge pressure on us to really deliver the best pictures. And I think, you know, I think that's why they keep coming back to us year after year, because I think we're the best at what we do, really, in the industry. So, you know, I think it's a, it's a great relationship.